around your house with your little one on your back. So this is nothing new. Um, this has been done by Africans for I don't know how many centuries and years and all that stuff. So this is definitely nothing new I'm teaching you, but I'm just going to show you step by step um, how to put them on and how to take them off as well. So my doula had told me that um, you know, one thing you need with your baby is a carrier. And everyone knows about the sling. It's how you wear your baby on the front of you. Well, I realize how nice that is out in public, but when you're in the house, it's not nice having just a little person in front of you at all times. So my mother-in-law taught me how to put her on my back. So they use something called a wrapper. A wrapper is I won't say nothing special because it is, but it's just a material, um, you want it to be, you don't want anything cheap, but it's just a long piece of material that you'll use to wrap your baby. Okay, so I'm going to show you step by step how to do that and also how to take them off. So step number one, however comfortable it is for you to get your baby on your back, that's step number one. Whether someone um, puts the baby on your back, which I definitely recommend for someone doing it for the first few times, but because I've been doing it for so long, I just can swing her on my back, and this is how I do it. So step one, swing the baby on your back, and I have a hand right here, so it's very secure. I can feel, I can move, I can hold her. If you're doing this for the first time, I definitely will um, encourage you to be over a bed or a couch or something. So now I'm on to step two, which is wrap your wrapper around your baby. So you want these two pieces to be even. So I just wrap it around her. You want arms and everything in. You take the first piece, put it under your underarms, the second piece. This is the part that's very important. You're just going to tuck under. So you see that? Under the arm. Pull this up and tuck under. So you just tuck, tuck, tuck until it's comfortable. Step number three. You're going to pull your baby up. The higher your baby, the less strain on your back. So remember that. The higher your baby, the less strain on your back. Um, let's see. So that is step number three, is pull your baby up, boop, and step number four is another important step. So now you have these two pieces, one there, one here. So you pull the underneath layer there, and then the top layer you're going to pull, you're just going to pretty much tuck anywhere. Okay. So that, my friends, is your baby on your back. But because I like a little extra security... You just take a little blanket. Yeah. And you tie that around you. And it just gives you extra security because sometimes just the wrapper alone, um, you just don't feel as secure. So I like to add an extra little one. And there, your baby is on your back. So now, this is how to take your baby off. So what you do, obviously you, un you untie that, and then you untuck the bottom first, and you start to lean over, and then you take the top, and just undo it. So basically you undo everything you did. And you just slide them over, and you, you're there to cuddle your little one. <laughs> so that's how you take them off. So I'm going to show you now how it should look. done you burn calories by doing it and 
if you just feel really productive throughout your day. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned how to do it. Please like, comment, and, sus and subscribe for more videos. Bye.